Liberty at Arkansas. And this one's a fun one. Liberty heads to Reynolds Razorback Stadium in Fayetteville to take on the Arkansas Razorbacks. Arkansas, a 13.5 point favorite. Total of 63 over at BetUS. And of course, this is 4 p.m. Eastern Time on the SEC Network. Gentlemen, ladies, uh, I'm going to surprise you with something here. I have Arkansas favored by about five and a half points, which shocked me considering the uh, difference in roster strength, uh, the difference in strength of schedule, all of that, because all of that is tossed into the number. Arkansas's defense could end up having some problems with Hugh Freeze. And if Hugh Freeze wants to get the Auburn job, this would be a good spot to maybe uh, toss his name in there, right? Uh, this seems to me to be the best way to get your name at the forefront of a bunch of those guys. You want to get back into the SEC, you go into Arkansas and find a way to uh, hang around in a game there. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Liberty's pass defense, pretty good. Pretty good. Number tw- uh, 22 in PPA per pass, number 13 in passing success rate. Um, but they they play against it a ton. 57% of the plays that they defend are passes. Uh, Arkansas does not throw it much, but they are pretty good throwing the football, especially over the last five weeks. You see here number two in PPA per pass, etc. Arkansas runs the ball nearly 60% of the time. I mean, just a, a huge, huge number here. Um but they're not great. Like, as far as scoring by running the ball, uh, number 67 PPA per rush. They are number 29 in rushing success rate, but Liberty's defense is number 10. Liberty's defense, very underrated. They are number 19 in PPA per drive on defense over the last five weeks. They are uh, doing really, really well in that regard. Now, you move over to the other side. And Arkansas's defense, a little bit of a dumpster fire. They don't have the roster with the pieces that Barry Odom had in his first couple of years there. So it's changed up the way that they're having to play. And, of course, they had a bunch of injuries early in the season, a bunch of guys out for the year. Liberty, Hugh Freeze can can draw them up. It doesn't matter who's playing quarterback. Right now, I believe it's Bennett, who's the third-string guy, who just had a monster day against BYU, who does not have a good defense. Turns out Arkansas doesn't have a good defense either. So you're telling me that passing the football... Arkansas's defense has a lot of trouble. That secondary, number 103 PPA per pass, number 105 in passing explosiveness allowed. You look at Liberty's offense, number 42 PPA per pass, number 8 in passing explosiveness. Look at their rushing explosiveness. Liberty, number 21 in that spot. Arkansas's defense, number 109. Liberty can find ways to scheme guys open, and they can find ways to score. Now, I would imagine that Arkansas is going to be able to do the same thing, but this surprised me when I started looking at the numbers. I know it's a, it's a big spread, and I know that Liberty just did this by going to Ole Miss last year, and they kind of tricked everybody, and, and Ole Miss was just able to outlast them uh, and get a, a cover. But I I think Liberty hangs around in this ballgame. I think they were able to score on Arkansas. Uh, I think they're going to make it ar- harder for Arkansas to score on them. And this is a bit of a sandwich spot. Arkansas has got LSU next week. So give me give me the Liberty, plus uh, <laughs> I know that sounds sounds interesting, right? Give me Liberty, uh, but yes, give me Liberty plus thirteen and a half to get the cover here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.